What's up guys, welcome back to another Luma Fusion tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna make the animated cinematic bars, so stay tuned. So once we get into LumaFusion, you can either create a new project or you can continue on the project that you already have. So in this tutorial, we're going to start by adding a video file. So let's take this one where I am walking I'm just going to flip this around so it's easier to see. And let's make a cut and then add some speed ramp or change the speed so it looks like it's speed ramping a little bit. So once we're done with that we can go over and we can adjust the speed of the other two clips which is on the front and of the back side. Uh, I won't call it a speed ramp but it, when, the, when the clip is done it looks like it is a speed ramp. So these clips uh, are shot in 120 frames so i can slow them down pretty much and you can see now it looks pretty pretty awesome right away once we're done with that let's add another clip Once we're done with that, we have two ways of creating these cinematic bars. You can either go into one clip, let's go into the first clip here, and you can go to cropping and you can adjust the cropping to 10 or whatever size of the crop that you want. The bad thing about this is that you have to copy the crop effect and then apply it to every single clip that you want to have the cin cinematic bars applied to. So let's apply them to everything and let's take a look. It looks pretty awesome having these cinematic bars. And now let's try to add a transition to these. So we're gonna start by making a 20 frame cut and then we're gonna make it to the last one as well. Once we're done with that, we can go into edit and we can just apply any of the transition that you can buy from my transition pack, volume one or volume two. Once you applied these effects, everything seems to be fine and everything will be fine as long as you apply an effect. Let's play through and see what it looks like now with the effect. It looks pretty, looks pretty smooth and pretty awesome. So, but if you have my transition pack and if you have any of the free packs that I made earlier, you have some motions, but what happened if we use a transition that has a motion preset and an effect preset? So let's take a look, let's apply a motion preset and an effect preset. So as you can see right away as I am applying the motion preset is that the black bar is moving because it is in motion. And if I apply it to the other clip as well and we play back you can see that the entire black bar on top and on bottom is moving and we don't want this. So the other way to make the cinematic bars and the animated cinematic bars is to remove everything. Let's remove everything that we have applied and we go to titles and we add a text layer. And the good thing about this is you can make the cinematic bars and you can make them as long as you want and you don't have to apply them to every single clip because this works as an overlay. So you will have the cinematic bars added to your entire project and you will not have any issues using my motion presets and effect presets as a transition or as an effect in general. So let's start by going into edit. We're gonna remove your text here then we're gonna go to shape and we're gonna scale this shape so it covers the entire screen. Then we're gonna move it up to, let's, uh, let's move it to minus 47. There we go. And we're gonna duplicate this one and move it down to 147. 
because then it will be equal on both sides. And we're gonna change the colors of these two to black to make that cinematic look. And if we play back now, you see that the motion preset that we just added and the effect preset that we just added does not move at all. So if you're gonna use my motion presets and my effect presets together as a transition, this is the way to make the cinematic bars. The next thing we can do is to go to the start of the text layer and then we can make a keyframe at the beginning. We can zoom out so we don't see the black bars anymore. Then we go for as many frames as we want depending on how slow you want it to be. And then we make another keyframe and we click on the reset button right here to get it all back to normal. And then let's play back and see what it looks like. You see that the cinematic bars is coming in from the bottom and the top making this look more cinematic like you go to the cinema watching a movie this is the uh, this is the black bars and this is the effect of the black bars that you see right before the movie starts or actually when it starts so let's bump it up even more let's add some effects to the transitions uh, sound effect and some music and of course, some color grading to make it look more cinematic. I'm just gonna speed this up so we can see the end result. So that's how you make these cinematic animated bars for your video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. And don't forget to check out the community post. I post there quite often about updates. I currently have uh, poll rolling. So go check that one out and click on your favorite item. If none of them are listed there, you can comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Put notifications on if you want to get notified when I upload next. So that's everything and I'll see you in the next video. Peace!